Well, the idea now is to use several different partners, providing more options while not overwhelming resources. January was encouraging for New Hampshire's largest cities. According to American Medical Response, there were 63 suspected overdoses last month in Manchester and Nashua combined, four of them deadly. It was Manchester's lowest amount in about a year. We see some months that have some very um, big spikes and others that, you know, drop down to the lowest points we've seen in a long time. So, um, you know, we're always encouraged by those and we work as hard as we can to, to maintain those. However, there's already been a setback in the Queen City. Over the past 48 hours, firefighters have responded to at least seven calls for overdoses. It's obvious that um, the product that's coming in is either cut with something different, stronger, but, um, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty positive it's still the same thing, fentanyl. There's a renewed effort to ensure continued success of safe stations, a program where substance abusers can walk into fire stations for help. In the wake of Serenity Place closing, people who use safe stations will now be directed to Granite Pathways or hospitals. Farnham Center has really stepped up in this process as well, where um, if there's a need for a patient to stay overnight, there's a stabilization unit there. Mayor Joyce Craig hopes the partnership makes safe station better. I think there definitely is more of a streamlined approach and people are going to be getting into treatment and have been over the last few weeks much faster than they were prior to. People statewide can also call a 24-hour addiction crisis hotline by dialing the number 1-844-711-HELP. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.